Hey everyone, welcome to my Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke playthrough. It's part 3, so I assume you know the drill. Let's jump into it. The next stop on our journey is the town of Artisan, but before we set out, we backtracked a bit to where the Pokemon League is and caught another Fido. I don't usually catch duplicates, but since Cinnabon died, I think we can fit another Fido into the team. I named her Leia since I noticed that she shares a hairstyle similar to Princess Leia from Star Wars. Let me also take this time to explain how I'm approaching random encounters in an open world Pokemon game. When I reach an area where I can catch a Pokemon, I open the map to see which four Pokemon appear in it. I then assign each of them a number from 1 to 4, then I roll a 4 sided die, and the number that I roll is the Pokemon I have to catch. Anyway, let's move on. We navigated our way through South Province Area 3, fought some Pokemon, and even ran into this trainer named Miguel. Rock Smash? Wait! Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. I'm. Mykonos is a normal type. Can I live another one? I can live another one, right? Yeah, let's live on the edge a little, man. <gasps> oh my. No! Wait, was that crit? Oh my. Oh, no! <laughs> No. I I honestly thought I, yo. A lot of things went wrong here, but I could sum it up with my desire to live on the edge, which led to Mikonos's death. I'm pretty sad to see this little guy go, and I wouldn't get to see what his evolution would have been. Afterwards, we found ourselves at the border between South Province Area 3 and Area 5, so I decided to hunt for a new teammate to take Mikonos's place. The Pokemon I was supposed to catch was a Corvus Squire, but then a Wildclough jumped me and forced his way into my team, so we named him Kingler. Arvin gave me a call and notified me that there was a Titan Pokemon in the area, which made me mildly concerned. I found the Titan near Artisan City, which is a bigger version of the crab we caught earlier, but I decided to bail out since I didn't want to lose any Pokemon before challenging Artisan's gym leader. <laughs> No, no, no. I bumped into another cloth just before the city. No! What? Metal claw? What? <laughs> that was, this guy has coverage, man. No! Uh. no. Oh, no. no! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you hardened. Oh, my. You are a lucky person, my friend. This thing almost killed Leia, but thankfully we were able to run away. No shame in that. Forget everything. I'm running. I'm beelining it. We finally reached Artisan, and I realized that our Kingler, the Cloth, was caught in South Province Area 3, not Area 5, so we had to let him go. This brought our team down to 4 Pokemon, which was pretty unfortunate. I ran into Nomona at the gym, and I had a small heart attack because I thought we were going to battle, but it turns out I was off the hook this time. The gym challenge for Artisan involved finding some flora scattered around town, so I gathered them up like Pikmin and gained an audience with Artisan's gym leader, Brassius. He leads with his Patilil, and I lead with Lassie. I wasn't short on fire-type Pokemon, and after a couple of embers, Lassie took down his Patilil. Brassius' next Pokemon was a Smoliv, which was a dagger to my heart because it reminded me of the late Mykonos. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Lassie made quick work of the Smoliv, which led to Brassius' final Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo. My fire type Pokemon were in big trouble against rock types, so I sent out Leia. Um, no, no, it is a grass type. <laughs> I mean, it looks awesome, <laughs> but I'm scared. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna have to sack Leia for baby doll eyes so we can get a clean switch. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, Leia's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <gasps> Alive, my boy! After surviving a second brush with death, I quickly switched out Leia and sent in Mama Coco. Sudowoodo's rock type moves did have the upper hand on Mama Coco since she's a fire type, but thanks to Leia's baby doll eyes, 
Pseudo Widow's attack was reduced, allowing Mama Coco to survive whatever he threw at her. I can't believe Leia survived, man. The attack drop was huge. I terrestrialized Mama Coco and she incinerated Pseudo Wudo, which won us the gym battle, earning us Artisan's gym badge. I'd say the MVP for this fight was definitely Leia and her baby doll eyes. After the fight, I met Hassel, who is one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. I guess we'll see him later, but he did invite me to take his art classes, so I might take him up on that one day. At this point, I needed to bolster my team. I caught a Litleo at East Province Area 1 and named her Simbarina. I caught Manny the Mankey in South Province Area 5. I finally got my South Province Area 5 Pokemon. Misty the Misdrevious joined our team from South Province Area 4. And last but not least, we recruited a Skado from West Province Area 1 and named him Skadoosh. What kind of shenanigans will we get ourselves into? I guess you'll have to find out in the next episode. But in the meantime, feel free to like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying my Pokemon Nuzlocke content. Also, tune into my streams here on YouTube if you want to see things unfold in real time. Be sure to follow my socials in the description below for updates as well. Thanks for tuning in and have a good one!